How to balance an equation using masses of reacting substances higher by kscience.com. Here's an exam style question where it says 48 grams of magnesium Mg reacts with 32 grams of oxygen O2 to form 80 grams of magnesium oxide MgO. Find the ratio of reactants and products involved in the reaction using these atomic masses. You're given the word equation and the symbol equation, and you have to show you're working to balance the symbol equation. The question gives us these masses of 48 grams of magnesium, 32 grams of oxygen, and 80 grams of magnesium oxide. We have to find the ratio of the reactants and products, and we're given these atomic masses. So here I'm drawing these boxes where we have to figure out what is the ratio of reactants and products. To do this, we'll need the equation moles equals mass in grams divided by AR or MR. Next, we have to write mass, AR or MR, and moles underneath each substance in the equation. We then use the information of the different masses in the question and fill in the masses underneath each substance. So 48 grams of magnesium means we write 48 grams next to magnesium. 32 grams of oxygen means we write 32 grams next to the mass underneath oxygen and 80 grams of magnesium oxide means we write 80 grams next to the mass under MgO. We now use this information to write the AR or MR of each substance. So the AR of magnesium is 24, the MR of oxygen is 32 and the MR of magnesium oxide is 40. We then calculate the moles of each substance. So 48 grams divided by 24 equals 2 moles of Mg. 32 grams divided by 32 equals 1 mole of oxygen. And 80 grams divided by 40 equals 2 moles of magnesium oxide. The next step is to write out the ratio of moles. So it's 2 mole to 1 mole to 2 mole. We now need to divide the number by the smallest number and here it's 1. So we do 2 divided by 1 equals 2, 1 divided by 1 equals 1 and 2 divided by 1 equals 2. We have now found the ratio of reactants and products involved in the reaction. So we write 2, 1 and 2 in the spaces provided. Pause the video now to attempt this question and the answers will follow. Pause the video now to check your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.